Hey, what's going on my 45,000 amazing friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic today. And uh, yeah, you guess it. You know what we're gonna be talking about today. This is the Fayutech Scorp. The Scorp Pro is a bigger one. It actually handles like the FX6, whereas the Scorp actually handles the a7 IV, smaller mirrorless cameras. This one is the one to go. And uh, is it better than the original, the OG, the Zhuin Weibull S? Now this one pretty much came to the market and had that undersling mode that was phenomenal. A lot of people love the undersling mode and this one actually has the undersling handle already built in. That is a plus or is it a con? We're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of this one against the OG, the Zhuin Weibull S. But just as a disclaimer, Fayutech did send me this and I'm not told to say anything, paid to say anything. They just sent me this for the review and I said I'd give it a shot because I did want to test it out because of that undersling mode and I wanted to test to see how this would go and up against the original Weebl S. Now let's have a look at some of the specs side by side with the Fayutech Scorp and the Weebl 2. So the Fayutec Scorp weighs in at a total of 1220 grams. It has a 2500 milliamp hour battery. It's supposed to last up to 13 hours of usage. It has a recorded payload of 2.5 kilograms and it costs a total of 429 US. And the Zhuin Weeble 2 weighs in at a total of 1430 grams. It has a 2600 milliamp hour battery and it's supposed to last up to nine hours of usage. And Zhuin hasn't released what kind of payload it actually has and it cost a total of 469 US. Now the Weeble S I've been using with my A7S III when I had it, the A7 III, and a couple of other cameras that are very similar size because I love the form factor and I love the ability that you can actually chuck this handle here at the back and have that undersling mode. Now undersling mode is one mode that I use quite often in a lot of my shoots and having that ability to do that is great, but uh, the downside of that is that once you put the handle on the top there, you've got no stability down the bottom, so you can't actually stand that up. Unless you get, obviously, a second handle, that's perfectly fine, you can do that, but that means you do actually have to buy one or take it off another gimbal, whatever you do, but that is a little bit of a con, whereas the Fayutech Scorp has it inbuilt into the frame itself but that means you cannot remove it, but does it get in the way? Absolutely not, it doesn't get in the way. That is a great thing about this. Another good thing about this one here is once you take these legs off here, you do have legs at the back. So this can be another way of actually stabilizing the gimbal just like that. So you can still balance it like this. Obviously you wanna try and balance it in its original position. That's very good, but you won't have the problem that Weeble S actually has. Now the Fayutech Scorp is probably more comparable to the Weeble 2, mainly for the fact that the Weeble 2 was released, what, maybe a couple of months ago now, three, four months ago. So it is a newer version of the Weeble S and it's very similar price. So now one of the big factors of the Zhuin Weeble 2 is that it actually has a flip out screen. I don't personally have the Weeble 2. Um, my mate Andrew, he's got the Weeble 2 and we did have a bit of a play with that one, but it does have a little screen on the side that actually flips out. Whether that's a pro or con, it really depends on your shooting style and if you actually utilize that screen, but you can pretty much access all the features in that screen uh, at the back there. Whereas this one, you can access pretty much all the stuff that's in the back right here on the top of the handle. I do actually prefer the position right here at the back because you can see it directly right near your hand position. But ergonomically, it really depends on your shooting style and what you actually prefer. So it does actually vary from person to person. So Zhuin actually haven't released the payload capacity of the WeBuild 2, whereas Fayutex said their capacity payload is 2.5 kilograms on this thing, which will take pretty much any small mirrorless camera. It takes the a7 IV with my 85 millimeter G Master lens, which we all know is an absolute beast. I actually leave my a7 IV cage on there and put the lens on there and it handles it perfectly fine, absolutely no worries. But you just have to be aware when you do actually use gimbals, you just gotta make sure they're completely balanced because if they are completely balanced, there's not gonna be excess wear on the motors or the motors won't be working too hard. Whereas if it is out of balance, you're gonna be stressing out the motors and making them work hard and potentially doing damage to your gimbal or just not getting super steady shots because it's completely fighting against the counterbalance. 
So I think one of the greatest things about the Fayutech Scorp is this quick release plate itself. It actually has two mounting points on this thing, which is really handy when it comes to my A7 IV cage because it's not gonna be sliding around, you know, left and right on this thing right here. So that makes it a little bit more stable when it's actually on there, but taking it on and off the gimbal, it just makes it so much easier. I think one of the coolest features about the Fayutech Scorp is it actually has these little red markers that you can actually see exactly where your gimbal was originally set. So if you did take it out of your bag, you can put it directly into that same position again, and then you're away shooting a lot faster. Otherwise, you're gonna have to completely rebalance the gimbal, and it may just take a little bit more time, especially if you aren't very quick when it comes to setting up and rebalancing gimbals. Now. I know you guys are gonna hound me for this, but this is a very important feature, especially when it comes to 2022. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's nine by 16 ratios. It's the portrait mode. Now portrait mode is very important for Instagram reels, for TikTok reels, and uh, even short form content on YouTube itself. If you do actually shoot in nine by 16, you're actually gonna be getting the most amount of pixels and the best benefit from your camera as opposed to shooting in 16 by nine and cropping into that nine by 16 ratio. You're gonna be getting so much more detail and just an overall cleaner image. So the great thing about the Fayutech Scorp is that the custom button F1, right where your thumb is, clicks it directly into portrait mode. Now this is a little bit of a pro and kind of a con. There were a few times where my thumb was just in that position and I did click that button by accident and it flicked into portrait mode. Now this was when I was first using it. Now I'm a little bit different when I hold it just to make sure that my thumb doesn't actually accidentally hit it. But if you did need that portrait mode really quickly, getting it from that tripod, flicking into portrait mode, it's so fast and quick and it just makes it so, so easy, especially with the a7 IV with the flip screen, it makes it really easy to control and see the actual screen itself when you're actually in portrait mode. Now portrait mode does suit a lot of my workflow when it comes to my Instagram content as well because uh, I am shooting a lot of Instagram reels uh, and I, that is obviously trying to grow my brand so I'm in reaching out to uh, video content on other platforms but if a client did come to me and wanted some Instagram reels, I could shoot absolutely everything with this gimbal and the A7 IV and just chuck it into portrait mode. But it is a really good feature to have in this gimbal. Now, gimbals are one of those things that I, I don't shoot a lot with gimbals because I generally use my FX6 on a lot of my commercials and it's generally handheld stuff or easy rig. If I'm not using a handheld, not using an easy rig and I want a really nice smooth motion, sure, I do use gimbals. I actually use uh, the Crane 3S and I put the FX6 directly on the Crane 3S, handles it perfectly fine. But that's where the Scorp Pro would come in handy because it does have a bigger payload and it can accept bigger cameras because the, the arms are generally just a little bit longer and it has a little bit more clearance space if you did have bigger cameras on there. But nonetheless, when it comes to gimbals, they are a bit of a niche thing because you don't wanna be using gimbals all the time and have just super smooth shots all the time. It really comes down to storytelling and what you actually need the gimbal for. I know a lot of wedding filmmakers tend to use gimbals because, well, you wanna have super smooth motion. It needs to look completely polished and absolutely perfect. And having gimbals is really handy. And this one pairs with the a7 IV, the a7S III and FX3 really, really well. And I absolutely do recommend it for those cameras. Now, like all other gimbals, it does come with a whole bunch of cords that you can connect your camera to the gimbal. So you can actually control a few different features in there as well. But it's not something I usually do, but the feature is there nonetheless. But anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. And uh, link will be in the description below if you do want to check this one out. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.